Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation 2 to the power x cubed plus 1 plus 2 to the power x cubed minus 1 is equal to 640. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. By using this property of exponents a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. This will become 2 to the power x cubed times 2 to the power 1 plus uh, this will become 2 to the power x cubed times uh, 2 to the power negative 1 is equal to 640. Next 2 to the power x cubed times uh, this 2 to the power 1 is 2 plus uh, 2 to the power x cubed times uh, this uh, 2 to the power negative 1 is same as 1 over 2 is equal to 640. Now we suppose that let 2 to the power x cubed is equal to y. So this equation will become 2 times y plus uh, y over 2 is equal to 640. Now we can write the denominator of this 2y1 and we take LCM of this 1 and 2. LCM is 2, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 2 times this 2y will become 4 times y plus 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times this y, y is equal to 640. Now this 4y plus 1y will become 5 times y divided by 2 is equal to 640. From here we multiply both sides by 2. So this 2 will be considered with this 2 and we are left with 5 times y is equal to 640 times 2 will become 1280. Now we divide both sides by 5. So this 5 will be considered with this 5 and we are left with y is equal to 1280 divided by 5 is 256. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, 2 to the power x cubed is equal to y. We have supposed that uh, 2 to the power x cubed is equal to y. So y is uh, 256. This will become 2 to the power x cubed is equal to 256. Next, 2 to the power x cubed is equal to this 256 is same as 2 to the power 8 and we have same base at both sides so we can write this exponent x cubed equal to this exponent 8 so this will become x cubed is equal to 8 move this 8 to the left hand side this will become x cubed minus 8 is equal to 0. Next x cubed minus this 8 is same as 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now we have difference of 2 cubes so by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. This x cubed minus 2 cubed will become x minus 2 times 
x squared plus 2 times x plus 2 squared or 4 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 2. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of this equation. To find other two solutions we solve this quadratic equation. This is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative b is 2 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 4 divided by 2 times a is 1 makes x is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of this 2 squared is 4 negative 4 times 1 times 4 will become negative 16 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to negative 2 plus minus this root 4 minus 16 will become root negative 12 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 2 plus minus this uh, root negative 12 is same as root 4 times 3 times negative 1 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative 2 plus minus uh, this will become root 4 times root 3 times root negative 1 divided by 2. Next x is equal to negative 2 plus minus this root 4 will become 2 and this root negative 1 will become i times this uh, root 3 divided by 2. Next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left negative 1 plus minus i times uh, root 3 divided by 2. Now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we are left with x is equal to negative 1 plus minus i times root 3. It means from here we get two values of x. x2 is equal to negative 1 plus i times root 3 and x3 is equal to negative 1 minus i times root 3 and first we found that uh, x1 is equal to first we found that x1 is equal to 2 first we found that uh, x1 is equal to 2 now let's verify and uh, see that uh, whether these values are valid or not To verify we use the original equation that is 2 to the power x cubed plus 1 plus 2 to the power x cubed minus 1 is equal to 640. First we verify this value of x1 2. So this will become 2 to the power 2 cubed plus 1 plus 2 to the power 2 cubed minus 1 
is this equal to 640 next 2 to the power this is 2 cubed will become 8 plus 1 plus this 2 to the power 2 cubed will become 8 minus 1 is this equal to 640 now this will become 2 to the power 8 plus 1 9 plus 2 to the power 8 minus 1 7 is this equal to 640 this 2 to the power 9 is 512 plus this 2 to the power 7 is 128 is this equal to 640 and 512 plus 128 is 640 is equal to 640 you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means uh, this value of x1 2 is a valid solution and uh, in the same way if we verify this uh, second value of x uh, negative 1 plus uh, i times root 3 this is also a valid solution and in the same way if we verify this value x3 negative 1 minus uh, i times root 3 this is also a valid solution so we have uh, three solutions for this equation 2 negative 1 plus i times root 3 negative 1 minus i times root 3